Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel CADNES. Myself Alaudin here. I am from CADNES. I am a CAD engineer in a CADNES. So today topic is there that is array. So what is array? How how we are going to working with array? So what is array? So see array is nothing but so this is a command used to draw multiple copies of an object in a particular pattern or order. We can also manage the distance between the objects in the array. Okay, so the shortcut key for the array is AR. To implement an array, we can type a array also as well as you can enter AR also. Okay, on the command line and you can press enter. Okay, let's see how we, how the array will work here. So now next is first we will see here. So in the modify option, you can see the array option here. So we, if you click here, track down button, you can see these three types of array. One is rectangle array, path array and polar array. Now see first it is there here rectangle array. So rectangle array is nothing but so it is a combination of rows and columns and levels. So we can create rows, columns and levels. So let it be example if I am having one uh, chair designing. So I am just going to make one chair design like 2D chair designing I am going to make here. Okay. Okay. Fancy now here now I have just made one symbol of chair here. So for that one what I will do I want to make a rectangle array for that one. I will select this one. Okay. If you select this one here, what you can do here? Select this rectangle array. Rectangle array, if you are selecting automatically, by default, it will appear as it is columns and rows here. So, see here, this four columns is a three rows is there here. So, if you wanted to increase the columns here, you can increase the column. Like, suppose if I enter this five here, now it will increase to five here. Okay. So, now you can see this one. Even if you want to increase the rows, I will enter to four. If I will enter four, now it will take four rows here. So like that you can make now if you wanted to reduce and make this only two rows here now you can see this only two rows it will take here even the levels also can give now level if i'll give two here now it will take two levels but the level will only show in the top view if you want to see the total level of that array here you can click in the elevation if you click in the elevation now you can see this one now it is showing up two levels here okay so now again if you want to come back to the top view you can click in the top view you click this view here now you can show like that okay so that is a uh, rectangle array next it is a real path array path array is nothing but see suppose i'm just going to make one path here let it be as created one path here so in this one i'll just make one uh, rectangle over this one now see this this rectangle i won't follow this path here then what you can do here you can select the path array and you have to select the object that is this object you have to select and enter this one after entering you have to select the path curve if i select the path curve now you can see this one here notice copy to till this line here so how many if you want you can in, uh, if you want rows also you can make rows i'll take make two rows now it will take two rows here if you want to give a distance between that you can give a distance also now it is here two i'll just give this one as four if i'll give four distance here now it will take a four distance from there to there okay even same thing level also you can do same thing now see next array it is there here that is polar array polar array is nothing but it will take for a circle and arc if i'll take this one now i'm just going to take one arc here let it be from this center point i'll take one arc here like this now this arc i want uh, full of this circle here then what you can use you can take a polar array and you can select the object select the object means this object you have to select arc enter this one after entering you have to select this one as a base point that is center point if i click here now you can see this polar array it is taken so now if you want to increase the number of items of this polar array i'll just give this one as a 15 if you take this 15 now here you can see this one now it will create one new design for this one so if you want to create like this a flower or anything you can make this one as a polar array okay so this is called uh, so this is the uh, the way we are going to use the array here okay so thank you so much uh, for watching like our video subscribe our channel thank you so much